Good morning, everybody. My name is Megan Tandy, and I am a former Miss California USA from 2007. I am actually on the East Coast in Atlanta, Georgia. Today is my last day of filming for season four on Survivor's Remorse. Oh yeah, and please don't freak out. I'm about to be picked up to go into hair and makeup, so I will be looking a lot better in about two hours. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Because I know you guys are on the West Coast, you guys are probably still sleeping, I'm gonna let you wake up and I will snap in just a bit. Stand by everybody, I'm going to be looking much better in just a little bit. This is the before. <laughs> Hi. Well, don't I look just clearly very different? Um, anyway, I am actually in my trailer right now. This is my cute little trailer. My apologies, everybody. I know I haven't really explained what I've been doing or anything. Um, it's my last day on set, so it's super, super busy today. Seriously, so sorry that I'm having to talk so fast and that there's so much noise in the background. Um, it's, it's a busy day. <laughs> So exactly 10 years ago on March 23rd, which was just a few days ago, that was my 10 year anniversary of competing at Miss USA. Sorry I was missing, we had to do rehearsal. Um, like I said guys, I'm sorry, it's a very busy, crazy day, but this is kind of like the behind the scenes. I want you guys to meet Sasha. She is um, our guest star this episode. Hi. Look how pretty she oh, is. You, you need to be competing for Miss oh, California. thank you. All right, so that was rehearsal. You guys didn't get a chance to see it because, yeah, um, <laughs> we're killing ants right now. Extra clothing is all the way up the hill. Right at the edge of the building. Mm -hmm. So this is base camp. This is where all the trailers are. Hi. And then I play the role of Allison, so that's my trailer. I'll take you guys in there again. Friends, one of our PAs, say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's walking me to my trailer. Here we go. Hi, Altadena. Um, let me just say first, I love Altadena. It's a wonderful city. Um, okay. Okay, so I have actually judged several pageants. Um, I don't know who the judges are. I don't know who they're gonna be in December, so I'm gonna give you my opinion. I personally cannot stand it when girls wear club attire to an interview. Um, their boobs are pushed up, they got tight see-through dresses. I can't stand it. Okay, we're gonna walk and move here because I have to get dressed. By the way, just so you guys know, I play a MRI tech on the show, so I'm gonna be putting scrubs on, don't freak out. So the judges need to see you wearing whatever makes you feel empowered and confident. I just personally can't stand it when it's club attire. That's it. All right, I'm gonna try to stop using filters. I'm doing that because I'm just so oily. I have very oily skin. Um, okay, here's me without the filter. Oh yeah, so like I said, 10 years ago, I competed at Miss USA and I got third runner up at Miss USA. Woot woot. I don't know how to receive any further questions, so just tweet me your questions at Megan Tandy or just leave a comment on Instagram. Hi Haley, I already know exactly who you are. Haley is one of my biggest fans. She's such a sweet girl and hi. 
I actually keep in touch with just like a handful. Um, of course, I keep in touch with Raquel Dorsey, who was Raquel Beasley at the time. She was my successor in Miss California USA 2008. I competed against about 90 girls, and um, I keep in touch with about maybe 10 of them right now. All right, let me explain what I've been doing since Miss California. I think we've been waiting for me to actually talk about that. Um, my passion has always been to be a storyteller, AKA an actress, and I got the bug to do that when I was seven years old. The story is far too long, but um, I actually got my SAG card before I won Miss California USA, the year before. So since being crowned, um, I literally, I just hit the ground running, you know, for my passion as an actress, and it's been working out. I was on Teen Wolf for five seasons, season 3A, 3B, season 4, 5A, and 5B. My very first feature film was playing one of Denzel Washington's daughters in a movie called Unstoppable. I also created and founded my very own youth program for today's teens, for girls, called Girl Talk. And just so you guys know, Girl Talk is like, that is my baby. Like, I love doing things with today's youth. I love it. Now I'm getting miked for the scene. This is what it looks like when you're filming. In my little Allison get up for the show. Um, behind the scenes, here we go. Hi Megan, you got the best name in the world. Um, the key to winning a teen preliminary is honestly just be yourself, have fun, and go out there and get it. Yeah, she is my beautiful stand-in. She's like little twinsies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks so rough. Oh my. So we are right in between takes. Everybody say hi to Ali. He is our director. Yay. Everyone say hi to Tiffany, my hairstylist, um, and Arianne, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, um, I can't choose. They're honestly two different shows, two different genres, two different audiences. They're great in their own way. What about taping a Q14 up there, boss? Yeah. Uh, just all board. Oh, can I start? Um, You know, the best way to do it is just make sure that you um, surround yourself with a really good team. Find some open casting calls for agents and go get submitted. All right, everyone. I have literally been crying because that, we just wrapped me on the show. Sorry, it got really dark in here. Um, well, we have come full circle. I am back home. Well, in my temporary home. And it was a really good day. So the, the extra hair is out. We are back to normalness, and um, I'm going to try to get to those few questions. I thought the dude was awesome, and I'm not even just saying that for political reasons. Like, literally, he was so laid back and so chill. I liked him. Shout out to Kaylee. I just read your message. That is really, really, really sweet of you. And I'm so happy that you're such a big fan and yay. So one thing that's been really awesome since being Miss California USA is because my acting career has been working out, like I've developed a really nice fan base. So not only did I get to play Denzel Washington's daughter, but I also played Octavia Spencer's niece in Red Band Society. Madison from Massachusetts wants to know how to get into acting. And I know this question popped up earlier. 
And my apologies for just brushing through the answer earlier. Um, just for the sake of time, I had to hurry. Um, first, let me tell you guys, if you want to be an actress, you got to have some thick skin and patience. Take it from someone who has literally been at this for years. It's a very tough business and you have to understand that everybody's journey is different. You've got actors like Jennifer Lawrence who's getting Oscars at the age of 19, 20, and 21, and then you've got others who are getting Oscars in their 40s. So how do you get started in the business? Really understand the business. That's really the number one thing right now. People think that they're gonna just get into it and become big famous stars and book all these jobs. Um, it doesn't happen like that. So yeah, just understand the business and um, you know, you gotta get a good team around you. Your team can either hold you back or push you forward. Definitely take some acting classes and I know you're gonna hear that some actors, actors like Tom Cruise who never took an acting class in their life, can we interrupt this broadcast to just announce that, first of all, there were flying ants on set and one of them came back with me and I'm freaking out. See that? Oh my God. Okay, let me get to like two or three more questions and then I'm going to wrap this up because I know I'm rambling. It's getting boring and I'm actually not feeling well, if you can tell. Hi, Miss Greater Inland Empire Teen. Um, I, I started taking acting classes very, very young, like very young. Age 10, I started, and um, in Los Angeles, I really like um, Leslie Kahn, Diana Castle, Scott Sedita. Hi, Robbie. Um, I, I do. I keep in touch with Gloria Almonte, who is Miss New York USA my year, and Heather Anderson. Heather was Miss Utah USA. Um, Danny Reeves, who was Miss Iowa USA, and Mia Heaston, Miss Illinois USA. All I can say is thank God for Facebook. Facebook has literally allowed everybody to be able to tune in and see what everyone's doing. All right, only because I know that when people start sitting down and rambling like this, it, it really actually does get pretty boring. Um, I'm going to end this. <laughs> Let's just take a minute to just really enjoy this wonderful view that I have. You guys should see this during the day and at sunset, it's gorgeous. This was really fun. I had a really good time doing this and sorry, there's like suitcases and actually you want to really see what's going on up in here. I live in Los Angeles, but I've been on location in Atlanta filming. So I have so much stuff that I have to pack. And I've already shipped stuff home. Okay, well, look at this. There's more stuff to ship home. Like, I don't know what's going on. All right, so let me give Megan's final thoughts. I want each and every one of you ladies to know that you are freaking worth it just as you are. Please do not try to conform to what you think Miss California USA or Miss California Teen USA should look like or be. Come pageant time, you have to be your uniquely beautiful self. You just have to. It's cliche, but you have to. There were so many people telling me for stereotypical reasons that I should not have competed in 2007. And if I had allowed those stereotypes, those fears, those concerns, all of that negativity to get up into my head, I would not have won. Seriously, we should be celebrating everyone's uniqueness. Like, who wants to be the same? I mean, I don't. <laughs>
I can boldly say that nothing has been handed to me in this business. I've worked very hard for all of it, and I feel like I've earned it. And this goes for even if you don't win Miss California USA or Miss California Teen USA. Whatever you choose to do after competing, go out there and do it with boldness. All right, so now I gotta start plugging my stuff. Um, I do have my own youth program, Girl Talk. It's for girls ages 11 to 17. It is a back to school themed conference designed for teenage girls. And this will be my fifth annual this July, OMG. So if you're interested, I know it sounds crazy, but follow me on Instagram. I actually might be upping the age limit to 19 this year, so please just tune in anyway and see what the details are. All right, everybody. I love you all so much. I, um, I think I'm going to cry right now. It's just, it's actually been a very emotional day. So, shout out to Top 10 Productions for even asking me to be a part of this Snapchat takeover. This was fun. So if I can say sorry one more time. I'm sorry that the Snapchat was a little boring. I know it was boring. Oh my God. Hey, I love you all. Thank you so much. Um, you can continue to follow me at Tandy Meg on Snapchat and at Meg and Tandy on Instagram and Twitter.